He keeps collaborating with children while he's under investigation for having relationships with minors. This, the, it's the boldness for me. I do just want to place a small trigger warning. This video will be talking about, you know, adults trying to have romantic relationships with minors. So if that is something that you are sensitive to, I just wanted to go ahead and put like a disclaimer out there because obviously if you don't know what's going on with James, this will shock you and I don't want to trigger anybody. So I'm just put just so we're on the same page. <laughs> Um, but let's just go ahead and get into this wild ass shit with James Charles. It's upsetting me in my home, girl, because we feel like, well, damn. It's like y'all's fave. This is, this is your fave? This is y'all's fave? Wow. Wow. Like, is this your king? Uh, real hot girl shit. Charles your fave likes little kids allegedly <laughs> so today we are going to be doing another rant video this is my series on my channel that's called tea and testimony where I talk about different pop culture topics um, and just kind of give you guys my opinion as well as kind of my commentary on these pop culture topics if you like these kinds of videos <laughs> don't forget to like comment and subscribe um, basically this video is gonna be in two parts I'm gonna give you guys the backstory of James Charles and I'm gonna give you guys the current drama dilemma to the point where YouTube has now demonetized monetized his entire channel and Morphe just dropped him from their cosmetic line. So we'll get to all of that. I'm going to have both segments linked down in the bottom bar. So if you'd like to just skip to the T right now as to what's going on with James, you can skip to it. Or if you'd like to know the backstory as to why the whole internet hates him right now, um, <laughs> we can talk about it. Oh, James Charles, I first found him when he became the beauty boy for CoverGirl. So if you remember way back in the day, um, James Charles was named Named the cover boy for cover girl because this is when they were starting to expand their brand to show men in makeup or boys in makeup so he became the first cover boy um, and he went viral because I believe it was his high school prom pictures he looked really really nice his makeup was done well personally I think he also face tuned really well um, that's one thing I will say about James he face tunes fantastic and his makeup skills are very very good as well I do just want to you know we have to be fair his makeup skills a1 you cannot argue that but he first um, had scandal because he went on a school trip or I guess I don't know if he actually went to Africa or if he was just getting ready to go but he had a school trip with his high school he was trying to make a joke on Twitter about how oh I wonder if we can get Ebola oh just kidding we could have gotten that at um, what was it Chipotle last year but like he really meant E. coli but he was trying to make a joke about Ebola which is never funny um and it did come off low-key racist but you know we could listen we could talk about it another time <laughs> you know once that blew up on Twitter that was his first real scandal and since then James Charles has been like in the vicinity of a lot of scandals even scandals that like aren't his fault but he's just like around so by the way I apologize if there's an echo there's not a lot of <laughs> furniture in my room so I can hear my voice bouncing off the wall so I apologize but anyway so as time progressed James the most infamous scandal before what we have going on now which is what's going to lead into what's going on now which is why I wanted to give you backstory as to who he is what he does and how we got here um about what was it two years ago he was in a drama with Tati <laughs> Tati Westbrook and Jeffree Star now I did a video when it came out um, and I will link that in the bottom bar as well as put that in the eye above if you'd like to watch. Basically what happened is that Tati sells these sugar, I mean not, not sugar bear hair, these Halo Beauty hair growth uh, vitamins. And James was advertising sugar bear hair which is her biggest competitor and somehow she took that as a way to expose James for being a bad friend. This was also around the time that Manny M.U.A. was getting exposed for being a 
a bad friend. Nikita Dragon was getting exposed for being a bad friend. Like being a bad friend was really unpopular at the time. So everyone was getting exposed for this. And Tati shook the motherfucking table. She literally made a video called Bye Sister where she said, you know, James, I just feel like he's just the famous getting to his head, blah, blah, blah. And the only reason I'm bringing this up is because that is the exact moment when she decided to drop the bomb that James is a I don't know if I can say this word on YouTube so I'm just gonna say predator um I don't know if I can say that word on YouTube but basically she brought to our attention to the world in this very teeful video um with no screenshots but very teeful video um she brought up to the world that James has a thing for younger men younger boys mind you <laughs> um this is supposed to be about her and james friendship but she just decided to sprinkle on in there and you have a thing for harassing or you know exerting your power over young boys which to me i feel like one and i said this in the video i don't first of all if this is a big case of like right message wrong messenger if you're trying to be teeful about the fact that your friend is supporting your biggest competitor that's not the time to also drop that you think they might be a predator or a danger to children i don't really feel like that's the time <laughs> and on top of that in my personal opinion i feel like if you knew this and continued to be his friend that I don't you don't get any brownie points from me because that means that you knew and only now when it's convenient for you you have decided to expose him for being disgusting I don't I'm sorry you have no sympathy for me I really don't care <laughs> you really like you have not done anything well so basically that was the first time that these allegations came forward especially by a big name such as Tati Westbrook if you don't know who Tati is she is like 40 <laughs> that's not to be ageist I'm just saying she's an older woman on YouTube but she's very well known for her makeup reviews she's very detailed very um precise in her makeup reviews they're very good if you need to know about a product Tati will help you um but that's basically her lane she's not really the tutorials girl she's more of like the review girl so basically in the midst of this Jeffree Star is coming out the woodwork and as we later find out Jeffree Star is the one that pushed Tati to expose James for being not safe around children um however again this is a case of right message wrong messenger because Jeffree Star has been exposed for being racist for being just horrific of a person like disgusting y'all already know especially with what he allegedly said to Jackie Ida ill i don't know what to tell you but again because it's the right message and the wrong messenger no one took these allegations of james being not safe around young boys serious until now so that was just a little backstory of kind of how we got here basically letting you know who he is kind of what his first scandal was which brought him to the forefront of youtube <laughs> then the the scandal that kind of set it off about these allegations of him and young boys where it came from which unfortunately it came from just two people who were not the right messengers for it which is why i don't think anyone took it serious because look who was saying it you know what i mean it just looks petty and it looks like you're just grasping to say anything so you're using the worst possible thing you could put on someone fast forward to now um i think i believe it's 11 boys now i was watching the h3 podcast which i will link that as well this video isn't going to be as teeful. It's more of like an explanation and then a rant. So I will link like actual resources if you want to learn more about the story or you want to, you know, see people that can give you screenshots and all that. I will have all that listed in my description box below so that way you can get as much information as you would like. But <laughs> um, where we are now, allegedly there is 11 boys that have come forward that are underage. And by underage, I mean like 15, 16, not even 17, 15, 16, <laughs> um, that James has had some type of a not appropriate relationship with specifically through the medium of snapchat meaning he's used his snapchat to talk to these underage boys in a romantic way not like as a friend but in a romantic or 
sexual way. The thing is for me, I'm 21, but like I said, I have the mentality of a 40 year old. Yeah. So for me, like I'm much more mentally and emotionally mature than a lot of people my age. I'm not physically attracted to older guys, which sucks. Like I would date like the absolute youngest, like 18, 19, that looks a little bit older. What did he say? <laughs> So, allegedly, that is what has come out. Those are the stories that have been circulating YouTube. This has gotten so bad that now <laughs> YouTube has demonetized his entire channel. I don't know how long, unfortunately, like, with things like this, because James is so big, he'll probably be demonetized for like two weeks and then he'll get all his ad revenue again. Um, however, they did demonetize his channel, which... I'm, I'm waiting to see if YouTube will make a statement because I feel like something that serious as to this person cannot be around children because he seems to have a thing for younger, allegedly younger boys. And he even said it on a podcast, which the H3 podcast caught all of that. James said on another podcast that he likes young guys. The thing is for me, I'm 21, but like I said, I have the mentality of a 40 year old. Yeah. So for me, like I'm much more mentally and emotionally mature than a lot of people my age. I'm not physically attracted to older guys, which sucks. Like I would date like the absolute youngest. And you know, of course, in the context that he said it, it didn't sound as wild as it does now, thinking like, oh, he told us. And then to make it worse, he made an apology video basically admitting, yes, I talked to these young boys. They lied about their age. I thought they were 18, 17, which 17 is still underage, so you're really not making it better. Um, but <laughs> they lied about their age, so it makes it okay, even though these guys that he was talking to, these boys, excuse me, that he was speaking to, they have their age, some of them, the ones that I saw personally. I don't, I haven't seen all 11 boys, I've only seen two, um, but two of them have their age listed in their TikTok bio, which is how James found them to then message them on Snapchat. So I don't know how, like, I don't, <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know how you could miss that when it's listed on their social media. So whether they lied or not, it's not hard to find. And especially if you've had these allegations in the past already, wouldn't you do the due diligence to make sure they're not underage? Like, I don't, like you had me and you lost me. You had me and then you lost me again. Like, I don't understand what you're saying right now. And kind of the big debate now is like, should he be deplatformed? He's been demonetized. Should he be permanently demonetized? Like these are all the things that are now in the conversations. And personally to me, of course, I don't know nobody at YouTube. I can't tell them hoes what to do. <laughs> They'd be like, who the fuck is that? Like they don't care. They don't give a shit about my opinion. But in my personal opinion, at the bare minimum, he needs to be permanently demonetized. Permanently demonetized. Take it away. Take it away. TikTok, the way that he keeps collaborating with these children, car, what is it, the Debilio girls or whatever, they're like 15, 16. He keeps collaborating with children while he's under investigation for having relationships with minors. This, the, it's the boldness for me. <laughs> it's the I don't give a fuck for me. He knows he ain't going to no jail. That's why he's so bold about it. Again, D, if you're not going to deplatform him, because I know YouTube would never do it, demonetize him TikTok. i mean i don't know if he's a part of the creator fund but if so kick him out you can't make money here i know you can't make money like that from instagram like that's not how it works so i'm not even worried about that part but get him out of here get him out of here that's the that to me i think is fair i personally think snapchat should i mean i don't know if well they can't do anything because he can just make another account because his account isn't public but like i think they at least need to make a statement because all of this is happening on their platform like that is the medium he uses to talk to these allegedly to talk to these boys because with snapchat you know it deletes after 24 hours or whatever so i don't know Honestly, I just think that it's a mess. And again, I know YouTube because YouTube just loves anything that's young, white, and profitable. So the fact that they even demonetized him surprised me. Because again, YouTube loves young white kids that are slightly reckless that you know because it brings attention to the platform and whether you like it or not, James is one of the top YouTubers in the world, like 25 million 
that is ridiculous so at the bare minimum because i know they're not going to deplatform him a lot of people have been saying it have been whispering their youtube ain't, youtube will do a lot to black creators or to people of color or to or to lgbt whatever they're not going to do it to young rich and white that's doing well and bringing money to their platform they wouldn't even do it to jeffree star who's not young <laughs> but he is white and he brings money to the platform if we're gonna start you know taking people if we're gonna start demonetizing people that's another one i think y'all should look into but racism somehow doesn't matter it's only people with kids you know people having romantic relationships with kids which they're both disgusting i want to make that clear like they're both gross i'm just saying if we're taking away money <laughs> i would have thought you know what i'm saying um but I also think this comes off the back of the Shane Dawson like drama that's happened, especially with Shane's allegations and young kids. I think that's why YouTube is trying to be a little bit more swift about this because woo, <laughs> wow. Um, and Shane Dawson is another one. If y'all would like a video on like, why does everyone hate Shane Dawson right now? We can talk about it. That's a video I would do more, more like screenshots and more, it would be more receipt based because there's just so much to pull from and so much to discuss with James it's more so just like this is who he is and this is the the fuck shit that he's doing allegedly with children what are y'all's opinions I'm just like it's so weird because when the drama happened with Tati and Jeffrey I didn't take it serious which is bad on my part because at the end of the day just because I don't like the messenger doesn't mean the message is any less valid and I think that's what my problem was where when they said that I was like girl y'all just saying anything when really they were correct it's just the timing not good but let me know what you think of James Charles, what is going on, why everybody just hates him right now. Um, and let me know what other topics you'd like me to cover here on my channel. Again, this is Tea and Testimony. I will see you guys in my next one. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see y'all next time. Bye! <laughs>